that a very pretty name for a girl that's so pretty? Well, we just figured out she was a girl. So she was Rocky. <laughs> she was, she, we, Rocky was Rocky for about a year, but I don't know. But one of my favorite holidays, because it's the only holiday that really is specific to an animal. Isn't that's this awesome? True. That's it, true. And it's an animal that really determines whether we're going to have a lot of winter coming, you know, sticking around or spring is going to be sprung. Now, what does the New York groundhog say? Are we going to have an early spring? You know what? I think Rocky, believe it or not, hadn't really gone into hibernation, so I think that's a good sign. I think we might have a good spring, but applaud for that. This is going to be great. Now, but you're right. Punxsutawney Phil was the first forecasting groundhog, and believe it or not, for like since human civilization started, we were looking at groundhogs and bears, and we didn't have meteorologists like 200 years ago. So, well, quite frankly, if, if, if we if we all believe the same thing about meteorologists, uh, right? We don't have it's them now either. Yeah. The bear or right, the bear or the groundhog is probably just as reliable, if not more so. Exactly. Right? <laughs> She's so precious. Isn't she, she really awesome? is. I know. I love how they fit. And believe it, you know what a groundhog actually is, Rachel? What they're is a rodent, it? just like a, it, it's just a rat. Like a rat right? or, it's like a but, big rat. But believe it or not, they're more like a squ squirrels are cuter. So actually, a groundhog. No, all it is, don't say that around her. She's very sensitive. No, she's really cute. But she she's a ground squirrel. They're the largest ground squirrel. And what's amazing, if Rocky, you know, some squirrels live in trees, obviously. Rocky groundhogs live underground. So. Oh yeah. Well, that's the name groundhog. Name groundhog right? Exactly. She's so very Isn't cute. Isn't she awesome? I mean, like, she's constantly. And do they really? They hibernate for months at a time. They absolutely do. They'll hibernate, you know, from November up until so, springtime. So they can live for that many months off of just stored fat? Absolutely. And that's what, you know, that's the only vulnerability that a groundhog has is that they need to like really fatten up before they go into their hibernation because when they come out of it, not only are they going to be, you know, a little little thinner, but a lot of times they'll actually have their babies too in, in the den too. So they'll oh, wake wow. up, like a mother groundhog will wake up with, wow, I got babies well, on Look, me. look, I got yeah. babies. Yeah, it's pretty wild stuff. That's a, and that's I know some to humans do. that would have been thrilled to go to sleep and just wake up. Done! Done. Yeah. <laughs> She's very precious. She Thank awesome. you so much for bringing her awesome. in today. No, no problem. We love you, Rochester Rocky.